we get referred to Dr. Lowenstein. So what is the process by which we, uh, as the patient, get evaluated? So in an ideal situation, you show up in my office in pain, right? To the point that we'll talk to you before you come for your, for your uh, visit and say, you know, different people have different triggers. So we talked about mm -hmm. people with perfume, a lot of people, red wine, caffeine, chocolate, right? And so we say, the night before you come in to see me, have <laughs> a chocolate with a, with red wine and a coffee chaser and you know, by do the perfume counter everything that you can do to try and ha come in with a migraine. So optimally, you, you, patients come in in pain. Um, it's a strange thing to say, but it is what it is. So um, then we'll do, we have you fill out um, prior to this a very, very detailed uh, history and um, we want to make sure that you actually have migraines and that you actually have seen a neurologist and you actually don't, you've had an MRI and we know that this is, you know, the problem that we're, we're working with. So then I'll do a physical exam um, and there are, there are about 14 nerves in the head and neck that cause, in, on seven on each side, that uh, we know can trigger these headaches. And so one of the things I do is I'll just from a history, try to find out where the person's headache is coming from. Is it coming from above the eye and radiating to the back? Is it coming from the back and radiating here, etc.? cetera? Um, and we try to figure out where that, where that is from. And uh, I look for what's called a Tinel sign. So a Tinel sign is where you, you know what it tells you. A Tinel sign is um, where you tap on the nerve and you get uh, some reaction, either uh, increase in pain, tingling, um, and uh, a lot of patients will have sensitivity um, to, to tapping or a Tinel sign in various nerves. So, okay, that's where the headache seems to be coming from primarily. And so in my practice, then what I'll do is use some um, local anesthetic, lidocaine and marcaine. Lidocaine is a quick onset, uh, lasts for about an hour. Marcaine has a little bit of a longer asset, uh, um, onset. Uh, but lasts for about four hours. And I will give you a shot where I know that nerve is. Do you um, use like an ultrasound guidance or do you just... No, a, a lot of people do. Uh, I, I don't. Um, just from you've operated on the nerve enough time, you kind of know where it is. Times, you kind of know where it is. Um, and a lot of the ultrasounds are also used. And again, this is you know a couple of layers further than we're going here, but um, to uh, try and find the vascular... The, the blood vessels that could be crossing these nerves and mm -hmm. causing compression. Yeah, we'll get to that, though. Um, but basically, I'm going down to where the nerve kind of starts and giving this local anesthetic. And then um, we kind of turn off the lights in the room, and I go back to my office, and I do some charting, and uh, I come back in about five minutes. And more often than not, the patient will say, my pain has decreased from a, let's say they started an eight to X, okay? And so if they say, I had an eight five minutes ago and now my pain is gone, then we can be pretty certain that that nerve is, uh, is the problem and most of the problem, if not all of the problem. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. So you said there, there's- it's your podcast, yeah, right? Th thank you very no. much. <laughs> I have one and only, only one question for you. Uh, so do you uh, hmm. inject only one nerve at a time, or do you inject multiple areas? I so, mean, how do you deduce that out? So I inject one nerve at a time, and this is what I call targeted injection mapping. So the idea is we're mapping out the problematic nerves. So um, when I have injected that first nerve and I come back, and let's say they say, you know, I had an eight, and now my pain is down to a three. Okay, so we basically start again. Now where is it coming from? Well, you know, it was coming from back here. Back here, and behind you fix the head. This, behind the head. Right, behind the head. Um, and so now it's coming from, you know, the, the remaining pain is kind of in my temple or above my eye. So we look for a Tinel sign there. But even if there's not a Tinel sign, if this is where it's coming from, then we give another shot there. I leave the office, go do some charting, come back in five minutes. Now what's your pain? So what we're doing is trying to work down to a pain of zero, and in doing so, mapping out each of the nerves that are problematic. 